Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and this is more of a special video. With just a few days left until April's Fool's Day, this is how you can play harmless Windows 11 error pranks on your friends. So get prepared on these nice methods. So the first prank that I highly recommend doing to your friends is to create fake errors in Windows 11. For this you need Notepad, so press the Windows button, then simply type Notepad and select it from the search results. Now in here make sure to copy paste the following command from the description below, but as you can see we still have some things to do. For example, instead of error message, feel free to type any message you want to to scare your friend. In my case I will just type in this PC has been infected with a virus. Now instead of the error box title you can type in something like virus threat if you want to or depending on the scare you're creating. Maybe let's say virus threat detected. And now this is where the tricky part comes in. Instead of the button plus error icon you have to type in some numbers. But I will post them right here on the lower left corner and all their attributes. So let's say if I want the OK and cancel buttons, instead of button I have to type in 1. Then in the error icon if I want a warning sign for example I have to type in 48. So this is kind of like codes that you have to type in to call some attributes for this message box. Now the command is done and all I have to do is save it, so click on file and then click on save as. Make sure to choose a location, preferably on your desktop and then rename it in the file name. Let's say I want to type in game and then make sure, this is very important, make sure that the format is .vbs. Now click on the save button and as you can see a new file will show up on your desktop. Now the last thing you have to do is simply double click on it to check it out. And as you can see, you get this message box that you just typed in with the OK and cancel buttons. I think this should scare your friends really good, but make sure to make it very original. Another cool prank you can play on your friends is to create an illusion of a non-responsive desktop. So first of all, you have to make a screenshot of your desktop. So press on the print screen button on your keyboard and now you have to open paint to copy paste that print screen. So press the windows button, then simply type paint and select it from the search results. Now to paste this screenshot, make sure to press on the Ctrl plus V key combo. And as you can see, this is the print screen that you just took. Now click on file and select save to save it. Now you can just name it or not, it doesn't really matter, but save it on your desktop for easier use. Click on the save button, now close this paint window and then make sure to right click on the recently saved screenshot and select the set as desktop background option. As you can see nothing happened really because you have the same image layered under the original desktop. So what you have to do is to right click on your desktop on an empty space, hover over view and then untick the box next to show desktop icons. And now the fun begins. Maybe you recognize it, maybe not, the screen is not responsive anymore because this is the actual screenshot. So let's say if I double click on recycle bin, nothing really happens. The screen is unresponsive because we just hid the previous icons or the original icons and it's only the screenshot that's left on the screen. This should get you a really good laugh from your friends if you do it, so don't hesitate doing it. And lastly, another great prank to play on your friends is to shut down the PC whenever a particular application is launched. So let's say you want to open Discord and then your PC shuts down immediately. If you want to do this prank on your friends, make sure to get an application that you want to play with, then simply right click its icon and select the properties option. Now in the target field, make sure to delete this target and then copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below. The last thing you have to do is press on apply and ok to save the changes and now when you double click on this icon, your PC should start shutting down immediately. So make sure you don't prank yourself. And that's it. I hope you and your friends will enjoy these pranks and can't wait to hear out some of your comments in the section below. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.